Hello and welcome to this SimScale tutorial on the dashboard, account management and learning materials. From the SimScale homepage, you can access the dashboard in the top right hand corner. It will be under your username once you've created an account. Within the dashboard, this gives you access to all of your projects that you're working on. It's your private hub that contains all of your projects and those that have been shared with you. From here, you're able to open individual projects in the SimScale workbench, and you can also see some activity that you've been doing recently, like latest jobs and how many core hours you have left on your account. You can obviously search here for various things as well to find projects that you've been working on recently. If you would like to create a new project, you can do that from the top right hand corner and detail the project that you're going to start. Now on to account management. If you want to know any information about your account, you can go to manage account in the top right hand corner under your user again. So this gives you info about your user account as well as the ability to change your password, insert your contact information, your billing information and company information. One of the most useful things here is the usage overview of your account. So here you can see how many of your available core hours you've got. And also from the various projects that you've recently run, how many core hours those projects have consumed. You can download this data as CSV and you can also see an overview of your current plan as well. From here, you can easily contact the SimScale sales team if you want to expand your account to enterprise or change your account from community to professional, for example. Now, let's take a look at the learning materials that are available. If you go to help in the top, you can view the tutorials and these are fantastic if you want to have a step-by-step -step guide through conducting a simulation in SimScale. Going back to the dashboard again now, we can also see the documentation available. The documentation gives you full access to SimScale's documentation. And for example, we could look at the platform introduction that goes into the similar details that we've seen here on the dashboard and everything you need to get going in SimScale with the workbench. Another great thing about the documentation is the access to the knowledge base and to the validation cases. I'll leave you to have a look through these now. Thank you for your attention.